Okay, back with our 308 project here. Uh, we're getting ready to prime. We're going to use some SMB primers. These are large rifle primers. Uh, good, uh, good habit to do when you're priming. If uh, if you buy them by the block like this or the brick, which most places sell them by the brick, uh, take what you're going to need out and move the bulk of them away. You don't want that sitting around in case we have, you know, something bad go wrong. We don't want these sitting on the table too. So let's get those out of the way. So S and D primers, our rifle, 308. We're going to be using the auto prime. Currently, this is set up on a uh, nine millimeter, so we're going to have to change that to a large, large rifle primer. So we need this tray, and we need to swap out the shell holder. So this kit comes with a shell holder set. You can just about load anything with these. If you need an extra one, I guess you'd have to order it custom. So based on the chart here, we're going to need a number two. Look in here, find two. There it is. All right, this is really easy to change. Um, change the shell holder. All you do is I just hold it like this. Don't, don't pull down from this side because you'll break it. But hold it here, mash down. And that shell holder just slides right out. Put that back in your tray so you don't lose it. Okay. Now to change the um, the tray, we're going to use the top. They only send one top with it. Now, this is an old one. They may send two tops now. And I think it's totally different now. This is the original one, I think. So we'll take that tray off. We'll turn it upside down, just like so. And you want to slide down. This is basically just a, a lever here. So slide down, swing that out, and then that's your whole arm. Okay, just lay that to the side. Uh, it will completely slide out of that. Don't freak out if it does, it goes back in. So we'll lay that down. And then your primer tray, get notice from the back here, we're just going to slide that down and it just slides right out of the front. Just, you know, can see that right there so super easy to change doesn't take any force and we're done we'll take our large rifle do the reverse slide it up just like so turn it upside down take your cam slide it in there mash down and hook we're locked in now we'll put our uh, shell holder in same thing here, just slide down like that. Slide your show holder in there. Now this will rotate sometimes, so you gotta kinda watch it when you're putting your cases in and pulling them out, it'll, it'll turn on you. But it's really easy to get back, back square. And then your tray just pops right on, just like that. Okay, we're only loading 50. So we're only gonna have to drop 50. I don't wanna drop the, the whole 100 in there. So figure out which way your primers are oriented. I always hold my auto prime like that so it, it raises that ram so a primer won't slide back in there and be upside down. But if it, if it happens, it's okay. <clears throat> now I lay them right on top. I take my thumbnail, hold it there, and then I slide out till I hit 50. That should be 50 because I can count on the top. One, two, Three, four. Oh, one more. Now we're at 50. Almost lost a primer there. Close these back. Slide that primer over and just give it a little shake. Oh, got that one. There we go. So got them all on there. Take your tray, put it back on. You got to be delicate with this. It's made of plastic. And then you just want to tip them all down and just inspect, make sure they're all right side up. So we didn't have any go in the in the trap right there. Now, like I said before, good practice. Let's get these out of the way. We're going to lay that there. Take these primers, set them off to the side. Now we're ready to start priming. So I always start off, make sure I don't have any in there. Kind of turn it over, 
give it a little shake and you can see they're going down the little trough there. So I'll take a primer, lower, and then I come up just a tad and that keeps another primer from falling in there. Slide your case on there and then push up. You'll go by feel on this. You don't want to you don't want to hammer down too much. If I keep mashing it, I'm going to crush that primer. You can't over seat the primer with this. I let down about halfway, slide my case out and inspect it. And I can feel it. It's just below just below because we uniform that primer pocket so we know it's going to seat correctly. And then by holding it halfway down like that, you notice I don't have another primer in the chamber. So they're, you know, they're still sliding down the trough or magazine, but we don't have one there. So I'm not going to lose one in the floor. So I'm going to sit these face up. I'm using my two trays, working from one, putting the other. So that way I know I've got it primed and I can see it's not upside down. Lower, charge it. Slide it in, come out a little bit, check it. Man, it looks good. Drop it down, load another one, mash it. There we go, looking good. Now, if you ever notice um, a little small dent, your RAM's probably got a little dirt on it, so you want to wipe that off, but it won't hurt anything. You, the primer's still going to work. Now, if you got a big glob of brass down in there, that's that could cause a problem, so... Make sure you keep that clean. It takes some pressure on some of them, but don't don't put too much pressure. And definitely, one of my biggest suggestions on this: if you're doing, you're picking up range brass, and you're going to prime with this, and you didn't check for a crimp. Uh, primer pocket you're going to have a little problem because it's going to get stuck in there so I've had that happen and I can't even remember what I did I think I I think I dropped it pulled it out dropped the case out pulled the whole shell and you know everything out at one time and then I think I took some pliers or something I can't remember but in a later video I'll try to stick one and, and go through getting it out But ram up turn around shake it a little bit and then you can go to prime and just get it seated and I bring it up just a little bit just like that that way I know I've just got one and I don't let it all the way down because that way another primer can't fall in there so you don't want two in there because one's going to drop and hit the floor and then when I'm ready I drop it down and it loads so you can really uh you can really prime some ammo quick with using one of these. Now, I think they've uh, discontinued this model. They have like an Ergo Prime or something now, but man, I've used this thing for, well, when I first got into reloading, when I bought the kit. But if you're doing say pistol ammo you're doing a hundred or two hundred at a time man you're gonna it's gonna wear you out and you can see I don't just use my thumb I kind of throw my hand up there my other thumb kind of push down to kind of help it but it goes by pretty quick and these are sitting good and give it a little shake one doesn't come out and when you're shaking it make sure the rams up so that way you're not shaking them all out So I'm just going to kind of wipe that little dirt on it, I think. There we go. Now, I do not believe that uh, Lee condones using these primers in this model. I've used Tula in this, CCI. Remington. I don't think I've ever used any Winchester in there. Um, even some of the old Smith and Wesson 
Magnum primers, I think, that are made by Remington anyway. But I'm pretty sure they only con condone CCI in it. Let's see if the instructions say anything. Just to make sure I don't want you to do anything that's hazardous. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. Should an explosion occur, our tests have demonstrated that safety glasses will normally prevent serious injury to the user if the proper brand and quality of primers are used. Other primer, primers, especially federal, can explode with significant force to ser seriously injure the user. So they're telling us in this not to use federal primers. So I would say don't use federal primers. I don't think I have. I think I've used CCI, Tula, the S&B, um, Remington, and the Smith & Wesson. I've not had a problem with them. Uh, that's not to say you won't. So, you know, I'm not I'm not teaching you here. I'm just talking to you. So you're gonna you're gonna have to go at your own risk on that one. So technically, what I'm doing, it's not recommended. So don't do it because I think all they recommend is CCI. But that's also another reason why I get those uh, those other primers away from the bench. I don't have those sitting on the bench. So you can never be too safe. And then take your time when you're doing this. I know I'm kind of zipping through it real fast. And, you know, there's been times that I've been watching something or, or whatever, not paying real close attention to doing this. And I don't recommend that. But I've had good luck with, uh, with all the primers I've used. But I think their new updated version is um, much safer than what this one is. So I don't even think they sell this anymore. I should probably get a new one. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be one of the future videos. A trade-in. That's what I should do. Do a trade-in. So we've... Uh, we pumped through these uh, these 50 cases pretty fast. And once it's late, I'd probably go ahead and load some up. And I'm not going to load all these at once. Oh, a little pop there. Primer looks good. That was weird. Okay, last one. Okay. We are done. Last thing, I know you were looking while you were priming the whole time, but visually inspect all the primers on the head to make sure they're oriented correctly. Um, that's why I go from one tray to another when I'm priming, and a lot of, a lot of things, but this definitely. So we're not gonna be able to load tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and case these up. I normally, you know, case them head up. Just like that. And I think we'll call this one a, this one's a, a done deal. So 308s are primed. Uh, they're ready for some powder. So it's going to determine what I'm going to do. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like it, and, uh, and share. And Give me some suggestions. If you got a better way to prime, um, let me know. Or if you got the new um, Ergo, Ergo Prime, let me know about it, how you like it. Or if you've traded your, your Auto Prime in for the newer version. All right, guys. Take care.